god, all I want to do is scroll. <laughs> I'm so tired. Anyway, I'm really excited for today. It's going to be an amazing productive day, but I'm not going to lie. When I first wake up, if I wake up alone and not my boyfriend, all I want to do is just scroll. Like, I'm, my phone is just here. Here. I justify it as like, oh, I just want to check what's going on because I'm a content creator and a social media coach. And I have my own business. Obviously, like, I want to see what the communication is, like the emails and all. Such a bad thing. I should not even be opening my phone until I'm out of the gym, but... Just being honest with you. Just being honest with you. It's definitely a habit that I want to change. Because I was, I was doing that for 15 minutes. Just now. It's 7, 6, 14. Just being honest. Just being for real with you. It is 6.23. I'm still in the <laughs> Don't judge me. I actually feel free to. <laughs> I would judge myself. I think what it is. is It's not really about the scrolling. It's just about the fact that. I feel like as soon as I get out. I'll just be like overwhelmed with all the things to do. Because I got to show you. I budgeted my time for this. On accident. But. 6 30 i'm gonna start getting ready to the gym and then i'm at the gym by eight and then just a busy day my goodness just a busy flipping day but i think it's just because i feel like a lot but i think what helps like when i remember this is to kind of take it step by step like right now my only task is to go brush my teeth right so let's go brush my teeth like i said there's nothing else i need to do i just need to brush my teeth that doesn't seem like a big thing <laughs> Gym outfit of the day. Here's a little rundown. First of all, look at the synergy of everything, yeah? Everything matches everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> For my shoes, they're also gonna be white, so just imagine that. Headphones are from Sony. It is the best set headphones ever. You can get them on Amazon. It is linked in my Amazon storefront workout essentials. This is from Athleta. It's a custom one. It has my um, tag on it. Uh, there uh, nothing on Instagram. <laughs> so it's from the Urban. This fit is from Aritzia. I'm not gonna lie, I love Aritzia, but like this is a little flimsy. Like we could do better, you know? It's cool and all, but I feel like the material is already starting to get like a little washed out, which I'm like. And then these are the shorts from Tia Lathlewin. Love them, no complaints. I've had them for a while. I was scared of always like wearing shorts like these to the gym because they're a little <laughs> skinless. But then I was like, you know what? I wanna be able to see my pump, like, because we are doing bikes today. What's kind of really interesting is, let me take you out. I, I was, I had the biggest dilemma whether I should go to the gym or not, because I do have the workout event at 11 in LA until 12:30, and I have to wear a specific workout gear for it. But honestly, I'm very set on my fitness goals, and especially right now because I do want to get like leaner and more snatched. I think you can already kind of see abs are coming back. Um, just want to feel like lighter and more in shape and there's no missing fitness days there's no missing workouts like it's not a non-negotiable you know plus it always makes me feel so good i feel like if i don't work out in the morning i actually go crazy and like i'm a menace to be around not in a cute way <laughs> so that's the tea size for working out for like two hours today total i guess i don't know i hope the workout event's good too but like i'm excited for the gym because i also love my gym and now i can feel for you I'm going to be getting ready at the gym after the event for the other event, <laughs> I'll explain later. So I packed the bag, it took me a little bit, even though I'm a good packer, but I don't know why it took so long. And then I also have my gym bag from Ella. I got it in the event, so we're all ready to go get breakfast.
are back, baby. Okay, slight change of plan. You know how I told you how I had the workout event at 11? Well, it's not the main event. So basically, the events I have today are with Lipton. And there's the workout event from 11.30, sorry, to 12.30. And then the next one was supposed to be at 1.00 to like 2.30 whatever, but they moved it to two. So I have an hour and a half, and like they have to change the venue, and I didn't know what I was gonna do in LA. Like, I, I guess I was gonna go get lunch, but like, I don't wanna, I don't know, just wasn't the vibe. And it was also with, um, it's a Lipton workout class, but also with like this clothing brand started by an influencer, and they sent us a set, and like I tried it on, and I can't wear that. <laughs> I can't wear that, sorry. Like, it's just not good at all. That's the two says, I'm just gonna be honest. And I just, I don't know, it just wasn't the vibe, so I canceled it. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, it's kind of last minute. I don't usually ever cancel events that I commit to, but they did the time change last minute too, so I'm like. But basically, right now I'm gonna go and drive over to my boyfriend's because he's right by the gym, which is incredible. Work for a few hours, and then I'll be on my way to the main Lipton event. Also, what's kind of confusing about the event is that they said that they're gonna have like facials But I did my makeup because I also want to film <laughs> And like I just have to film for a course So I don't really know how I'm gonna go about that. Maybe I'll bring makeup up or something The point is I'm also getting a little bit hangry. <laughs> I just realized hanger is when you're hungry and angry um, And that is me even though I had breakfast, but I think it was an intense workout anyway So it's 10 a.m. Usually I start working at 10 a.m. Always um, preferably like 9, but honestly depends. Sometimes at 8, just I make my own schedule, you know. But what have we done so far? Well, we worked out. I filmed two videos by documenting my whole morning, which is really nice. And now I'm about to go and get some more work done. Oof. Oof. And also got ready, which is also, I think, a plus. Kind of random, but something also I realized is that I've never ever like gotten myself lunch ever in my life ever. Like my favorite place ever for Caesar salad, and that's my favorite food, is Medicina Farms. I've never just gotten that for myself. Like I don't know. I just in my mind I can't justify it. It's so bad. It's such like a like Ooh, we have food at home, which I guess is good because it makes you save money. But I don't want to go out splurging on food. And then by that logic, also would have had to go get coffee, like out and about, and that's like eight dollars and. Don't want to do that. No, you don't stay rich by spending all your money. <laughs> uh, okay. Now another thing. It's kind of like a rambling vlog, but you know what? We're just hanging out. Is I have to exit this parking structure, and you always get a ticket, and like you validate it at the gym. But it always demagnetizes if it's anywhere near your phone of technology, which it's in my bag. So yeah. And um, let's see if it actually works this time around, or if I have to call them up and make them open for me. It's so frustrating, it's so annoying. It happens every time and I have to wait for like seven minutes. Yeah, it's not working. Unable to read. All right, time to hop on a call. I seriously consider canceling my gym membership because of this. I'm just like every single time I have to call in to exit. Just let me through, just let me go. My understand, it's parking structure, business complex, blah, blah, blah. Security. Hi, I think my ticket from the gym got demagnetized so it's not letting me through. Do you have the ticket in your hand by any chance? Yeah, I have it right now. Here. Okay, if you don't mind just putting it on top of the machine, it's fine if it flies away. I'll open up the gate for you right now. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yay, the gate is now open. Yeah, security is also used to, to used to this. This one guy was telling me that at some point they just like open the doors to let anyone through Just because they're just so flippin' tired of having to be like, okay, well, we'll come in and fix it for you Because that's what they used to do guess it's not a system that works anyway but I'm so excited to see my boyfriend do ah! love a girl era any chance I get to see him I'm excited I'm excited and it's so funny because yesterday I saw him last and I was just telling him like yesterday was Tuesday and I was like hey babe I don't call him babe but I was like hey like next time we're gonna see each other is probably like Saturday Sunday like so far away we usually see each other literally every single day and he was like oh I doubt it ah, it's Wednesday I'm seeing him again yeah! I'm so excited.
Okay, I'm back in my car for I think the third time today and it's time to end this vlog because it is officially afternoon. That was my productive 6 a.m. morning. It's now time for me to leave for the event, which is exciting. It's gonna take me, actually, let's see. <laughs> Two, six, five, one. I'm running a little bit late, but honestly, to a lot of influencer events, it's good to be late because they start a little bit later anyway. Okay, it's 40 miles away. I'm gonna be there at 2.15 p.m. Perfect. Okay, that's good. It starts at two, but like I said, being a little bit later is normal. And then when I was leaving my boyfriend, first of all, like, I was like, oh, I don't have enough time to eat lunch. I just, because I was working, he was working too. He packed me a little sandwich, a barbecue sandwich. He just made it and like, just packed it for me. And he's like, here, and then he gave me a protein shake too. Which, these are queer protein shakes. I really love them. I keep some at my boyfriend's house. <laughs> and then I keep some at mine as well. So good, like 18 grams of protein. I love quail, honestly. Have it as soon as I can. Um, so now it's time to listen to like a good podcast and just go. Hopefully I arrive no later than 2.15, but that was a day in my life. And in the meantime, or sorry, morning in my life. And when I was with my boyfriend's, I actually was pretty productive. I just love like being with someone in close, close proximity and just working together. Like that's all you do, you're just working together. When did I last see my boyfriend? Yesterday. When am I seeing him next in like two days? Did I cry with leaving? Yes, I did. <laughs>